know it's been very, very quiet on Polygon at the moment, but this is to be expected, and I'm gonna explain why. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because as always, I drop GMs. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, turn the bell notification on so you can stay up to date on all my recent videos. With that being said, guys, nothing that you see in this video is financial advice. So always, always, always make sure to do your own research. Let's get into the video. So, I know my previous update, you guys saw me enter around this area here. And to be honest with you, as I mentioned, this would be a solid range, which is which is why I wasn't afraid to buy at this level, which is around the 40 cent area. Again, to some that may seem expensive, but in the grand scheme of things, I do not believe that it is. I still believe this project is undervalued. I would have loved to bought at 25 cents, but I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I did on Zillica. Now, with that being said, what's currently happening now? As you can see, I've got all my analysis up. I've just drawn in this uh, trend line so you guys can see what essentially is happening. Price has gone, rejected the trend line, bounced to the trend line again. Lowest I see price uh, rejecting this uh, trend line, maybe 33 cents at the most, but I don't believe that will even happen. Uh, we're currently in between the 34 and 45 cent area. This is the new range, right? And if you are a follower of this page, you will understand how accurate my analysis have been so far right now what can we expect number one solution one we can ex or scenario one we can expect price to bounce off this range and again start to rally to our our next target which is around the 80 cent area and this is not random guys we drew this in uh, based on our fib extension area now that's scenario one Scenario two, we see price pull back to uh, uh, the 33 cent area, 32 cent. Maybe just dip below this uh, resist, sorry, support area, and then we could potentially see price move to the upside. But that would depend a lot on price action. Of course, if we see uh, the cryptos across the board, like Bitcoin, etc., start to sell off, then we can anticipate that this will essentially move in the same direction but all in all guys it's been pretty stable i mean for me personally buying at the level that i bought um i i'm actually not concerned at all right if price as i mentioned if price did go back down to this 24 cent area i will buy more so in fact i kind of want it to crash so that means i can just buy in at a cheaper price price now Scenario two, which I believe is most, um, I believe will happen right away. As you can see prices, let's just go on a four hour time frame. So if we were to day trade this, could this be a good buying position? Could this be a good entry price? To be honest with you, from personally, from a day trade pers um, perspective, not financial advice, this is where I would look to buy and of course have my stop loss just below this resistance area. If you wanna learn more about that in-depth technical and day trading uh, strategies that we teach, feel free to email um, with the, or click on the links below and get in contact. Our VLC network has achieved over 2,000% so far for the year, creating six and seven figure traders in our community, all verified on our Instagram at Vision Life fx so you can see that for yourself but anyway i digress so let's get back into the video again i'm happy that price is moving very stable right i'm happy that price is um is, you know hasn't also hasn't really crashed per se right a lot of people anticipated this to crash you know especially after the coinbase listing um you know people thought that price would pull back hugely but as i said i don't expect price to go back that much again 35 36 percent max drawdown that itself is again in, in alignment with most of the cryptocurrencies at the moment you know bitcoin's average uh, uh, pullback so far has been between 25 to 30 percent then you can see that trend almost across every single uh, cryptocurrency um, across the board now let's get into actual entries now so actual entries, if I didn't own any of this personally, I would be buying now. Of course, I bought in at 40 cents, so this is cheaper than that. Um, so guaranteed the next video, well, not nothing is guaranteed, but by the next video, we'll probably be talking um, from a different angle and we'll be talking about what to do when price breaks. The top of this range, which is the 45 cent area. So this is the level that we all wanna pay attention to at the moment, this level here. 45 cents once price can break that area 
this is when we'll maybe start talking about um i'm sure i'm gonna get comments is it the right time to enter is it the best time to enter i mean guys the goal objective here is to buy low sell high right waiting for price hit an all-time high as a confirmation to buy is never a good thing and also i like i just believe in the long term uh, um i believe in this project long term i believe that it solves a use case i believe it has the potential to scale and is actually tackling a problem that we can all agree is a problem in the crypto space with ethereum and those super high fees so where could price potentially go next let's just have a look again 37 down 2.4 percent for the day not you know not that much market cap still fairly low 1.8 billion where do i see this going in terms of market cap let's just have a quick look um let's just look at the coin supply so for those of you that are completely new to this channel i like to go over the coin supply and circulating supply because this gives us um a, a, an in-depth uh, approach to the supply and demand uh, and essentially we can target key areas using this method so total supply 10 billion circulating supply 5 billion lovely to see that again 80 cent our next target area i believe that is completely fair uh, the market cap of this particular project i would not be surprised if we hit at least 6 billion for the year in terms of market cap would not be surprised at all and i'm being conservative here guys you know i'm not being you know wild i'm not saying you know over 10 billion etc keeping it fairly conservative especially for a project that has just been listed on coinbase has a good use case and there's a serious and solid community behind this project with that being said guys we're gonna now wait for price to break the 45 cent area we probably won't do any more updates until price has broken that area or at least broken the bottom of this range so this is what price needs to do now either break to the upside or break to the downside but until then when others are fearful be greedy when others are greedy be fearful and at the moment i don't see greed i don't see fear i see indecision and that's why we bought this up with that being said guys seize the day